This some old bullshit. What's good, Digital Trap Squad? It's your boy, Marcus Digital. All right, y'all, look. The Batman releases next week in theaters, right? The hype, what? The anticipation is Bro, what are you talking about, man? Right? The Dark Knight's next chapter. And if you go through the live-action comic book history of DC Comics, when it comes to adaptations, Batman gets a new representative every single decade. Except for the 90s. There was like three of them motherfuckers. <laughs> there were three. God damn. <laughs> and as far as I'm concerned, they were all stooges. Fuck them. With him having a movie coming out next week, Warner Brothers is already making plans for a trilogy. They thirsty. They a little thirsty. They got that back credit card out. Seven million. Never leave the cave without it. Those thirsty, thirsty, thirsty sequel plans by WB display something very important. Batman will never have his own show on TV as long as you and I are alive. I swear to God. I'm not talking about Gotham, the birth of Bruce Wayne coming into his own as a young man. No, I ain't talking about Titans where he's in the shadows and shit. WB knows that that character has always been dependable at the box office, not only for money, but for conversation. Think about the way that character's name trends. Every single time a new actor puts on the cow, the conversations, the rants, the video essays, they love that shit. But even deeper, Bruh. he has been there to save Warner Brothers so many times. B and R was bad. Alright. Batman and Robin was tragic. <laughs> it was tragic. And that was the night. It got dark. But then it got a little darker when Steel came out in 1997, later on that year. It got really dark when Catwoman did the sexy strut. <laughs> that was pretty tough. Then the dawn came. Batman begins, right? Gotta hit you with that Harvey Dent quote. The dawn is coming. But Batman saved their ass. He saved them. It was a long drought of pretty bad comic book movies coming out on the DC side. And Batman Begins was a big part of that revelation, ushering in a new era of DC comic live action movies. And not just because he's their emergency switch, but also because this character can thrive on TV, particularly streaming. And WB knows that. They're stupid. They're a dumbass company. But they know they shit when it comes to Batman. And they know that character will succeed big time on a streaming platform. If Peacemaker was as fire as it was, imagine a Batman show with a similar budget. He ain't got no powers. Most of his villains can be done without grand amounts of CGI. Yeah, Poison Ivy would require it. Killer Croc would require it, especially if you make him huge, like he was an Arkham Knight. But, with that being said, Batman can be done beautifully on HBO Max. And WB knows that. Taking it a step further, he could be great on a CW. Hey, 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 now hold on, hold on right there now. Arrow was amazing for like two years. Huh? Two and a half years. <laughs> and that's on the CW. Superman and Lois is on the same network. And apparently it's not funded by HBO Max. So if that show is amazing as it is, imagine what Batman could do with a similar budget. WB said they would rather kick it with the Jared Leto Joker for 30 days and 30 nights before they put Batman on TV. And that's a weird motherfucker. The Jared Leto Joker was a weird motherfucker. I understand. 